What is going on guys? Welcome to your 11th Photoshop tutorial and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys about the ruler guides. Pretty sweet because you know last tutorial we learned about the ruler. Now that we're expert with that it's time to move on to something a little more interesting. So what is a ruler guide? A ruler guide is basically a checkpoint or it's pretty much a guide that allows you to visualize exactly where a certain location is. So in order to better uh, demonstrate this, the first thing we need to do is we need to view our rulers. So go ahead up to view and make sure that you have a checkbox next to rulers. What this is going to do is it's going to give you a ruler on the very top and on the left hand side of your working area. And if you aren't in pixels right now, just go ahead and right click the ruler and change it from inches or whatever you're on to pixels. I just like working with pixels because, I don't know, I think they're pretty cool. So how do we get a ruler guide? Well, it's simple. We just go up to the ruler and with our mouse, left click and drag a ruler guide out to wherever we want it. So say that I'm just measuring, I don't know, the area of my face. Go ahead and release. And whenever we do that, we create a ruler guide that's this little neon blue fluorescent line looking thing. This is pretty much a guide that says, hey, you wanted a line at 47 pixels this is it. So now if we wanted a line right here around like 330 pixels, just go ahead and grab another one, drag it down, release, and the cool little thing is a blob tells you exactly where you're going to drop it, release, and there you go. Now you can also do this with the vertical one. Again, hover over the uh, little ruler here, click, drag, and release. So now we got the distance for my face exactly where we want it to be. Now this is useful like I said whenever you want to find out a specific distance and it's really helpful whenever you're making logos. Not that useful whenever you just have a picture of Bucky as a baby screaming but you know for demonstration purposes this will do just fine. Now another thing I want to teach you guys is what happens whenever you want to move these ruler guides. So say that okay my face on this left hand side is you know where I want it to be but I actually want this left a couple picture pixels because I don't want to cut off my ear well what you can do is you can select the move tool or just press V on your keyboard and hover over the ruler guide now you know that you're gonna hover over it because once you do your cursor is gonna change from an arrow to a double sided arrow now just go ahead and drag to wherever you want it to be and this is basically adjusting your previous ruler guide so we can go ahead and adjust all these if we want more of my face in the guide. And once we have our guide set, what you generally want to do is you want to lock your guides into place. Why is that? It's because your move tool, the one we have right now, is one of the most commonly used tools. So if we're sitting and moving stuff around, okay, we don't accidentally want to bump one of these guides. So in order to lock your guides into place, go to View, Lock Guides, and bam. Now, as you can see, we no longer can adjust our guides. Pretty sweet. However, once you're done, in order to get rid of your guides, this is how you clear all of your guides because, you know, these lines are useful, but you don't want them there all the time. Just go to View, Clear Guides, and it gets rid of all your guides. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is this. Say that you have, uh, I'm just going to make two ruler guides real quick, a ruler guide right here and right here. Now they call them ruler guides because whenever you're using your ruler tool, it helps you guide your ruler tool. So your ruler tool of course makes lines and whenever you select a line starting point here, you can come up here and as you can see it doesn't just you know hover over, it actually snaps to your guide if you look really closely snaps right there. So now you can go ahead and move left and right and your line is going to guide be guided along right here. Now this is useful whenever you want to, you know, just move the end of your ruler to a certain place because if you try to do it with just your cursor, it's very difficult to go left and right perfectly. You're usually off by a little uh a few pixels, but anyways, I won't go into too much detail because I know rulers aren't the most interesting thing in Photoshop but now that you guys know how to use ruler guides and you know how to work with them a little bit you can now pat yourself on the back congratulations so thank you guys for watching this video and in the next video um, well it's gonna be awesome